guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am going to be showing you this ultimate Lego, um, Death Star, and I know it's not the entire, you know, round area, but it's, but it's the top of the area, and this is also a two-in-one set, well, it's not a set, but it's a two-in-one creation that it can also turn into a, a Millennium Falcon, those are the Millennium Falcon pieces, and these are some other pieces of the Death Star. So, um, as we see here, Death Star's got a pretty cool, um, round area. It got some, like, an antennas right there. And, um, it's a very strong set. Like, watch. No break. No, uh, you know, breaking stuff. Oh, yeah. This is the laser cannon. It shoots, um, it's supposed to be green, but, uh, it's red because I have no, uh, green studs. Stud shooters, which are these things, but um, well, not real studs, but well, like, like spring shooters. I just wanted to use that as like a cool laser technique, and also, um, there's a ball joint right there so that you can move the laser cannon how much you want. But it's honestly supposed to be like here, but right here, but there's a couple of little play features on the set, like if we switch it like this. It can be a stand. Oh, and this is um this is what um is supposed to be inside the Death Star. Well, there's actually not much room, but um this is what's inside the Death Star. Um, is a cool um star destroyer. It's actually a pretty cool um little star destroyer. Here's the engines. Well, pretty cool, pretty accurate. And uh, this is also a battling uh, platform right here. Um, there's a piece that should be on it. I don't have a Darth Vader minifigure, but, um, it, I think it's, a uh, well, with the ball joint, it's supposed to go up here because, well, it's actually designed to be right here, and, um, hmm, this is actually a little bit hard, but, um, it's supposed to stack up like that, and pretend this is, a uh, you know, Luke Skywalker, per se, so he's gonna be right here, Luke Skywalker is gonna be right here, and then pretend this cool minifigure is Darth Vader. Now, uh, they're gonna battle it up within some iconic scenes from the, from a, from a movie. Like, look at them. Ready to battle. As you can see, there's just a little tower up there, like a auto control tower, but, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretend that's Darth Vader, and pretend that's Luke, a bald Luke Skywalker. And, um, that's supposed to be a lightsaber. But, um, they're battling it out. They are destroying it. And I think they're, like, destroying the battle. And I think it's really, really cool. Well, uh, since, um, I showed you that, I think it's time to show you the Millennium Falcon. I farted. There's just a couple adjustments that, um, that have to be changed. Like, the, uh, obviously, we don't want the super cannon, so we could just take that out. As you can see. This is what the super laser cannon looks like. And, uh, we put that, we put these, um, laser cannons and stuff in the Death Star aisle. And then what you, oh, and this top piece, it's not really supposed to be here. Neither that cube. Let me get that cube out. And then you have something that's left like this. Now, um, so the Millennium Falcon is a pretty cool, um, based, uh, Star Wars thing. So I put this, um, so so instead of making this, like, with a ball joint, kind of looks a little bit sketchy, I put on this little thing, and then there's a little cannon on the back of this. And then for the top, we have this rotating cannon, which is a very cool thing I made. And look at that. It rotates. It's a rotating cannon. And now for the, these uh, jaws. I think I'm going to call them jaws. But these jaws are really, really cool. And attach them like this, it's like so. Well, hold on. Uh, if you're bored, you could just skip 10 seconds or something. All right, there we go. Now, so you gotta hit this uh control panel. If you're bored, just uh, skip. Ah, switch swap, and um, we are back. And this is the Millennium Falcon, it actually turned out to be a little bit better than the Death Star. But, uh, it's really, really cool. Um, there's not much. 
Uh, there's this, um, satellite dish. Pretty cool. It doesn't, uh, spin around. I actually made it spin around, but, uh, it just kept on falling off, so. This is a stronger one. But the thing that does spin around is this, uh, is this, uh, 360 turning double turret. It's actually, it was a really, really cool, uh, turret. It's really cool. Um, this is the cockpit. I mean, honestly, I just copied a, you know, Star Destroyer design, but this is the cockpit. And, um... And these are, I don't know what this, I don't know what these, like, you know, fangs, I think you can call them fangs. And then the, and then on the back of the, uh, Millennium Falcon, this is supposed to be engines, but this is a cool rotating turret. Uh, it's a small double turret or something. And, um, and by the way, if you think I, um, if you think this, um, this set is, the I mean, not really a set, but. If you think this thing is massive, like I built it like fully, it's actually hollow inside. Uh, smash a like if you think I can do an interior on this and like uh, open the top of it. Just uh, leave a like if you want me to do an interior on this, but um, really not much to the Millennium Falcon than there is to the Death Star. But the Millennium Falcon itself... It's a swooshable ship. It's actually a really, really cool ship. Um, except for the fronts. It's just a big old box. But on the back, it's actually curved. So I like that. But, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, and, uh, if you've seen the time lapse, go ahead and check out that video. And, um, anyways, thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. If you do, leave a like and subscribe. I know my face looks ugly. But be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, and bye bye